everyone, Jennifer here, back with another edition of Movie Talk. Okay, this week's movie is a movie that is one that my sister and I used to watch a lot as kids around Halloween. In fact, it was on the same VHS tape as um, the Halloween that almost wasn't and Raggedy Ann and Andy the Pumpkin Who Couldn't Smile. So it's one that we've had for quite a long time and as I stated before we watched every year for Halloween. Um, it was also one that our dad recorded for us back when we were kids. And that movie is Witch's Night Out. On Halloween night, a lonely witch hears the call of children wanting a special Halloween wish. But what happens when that wish goes awry? Okay, so this movie was made back in 1978, and it is a Canadian animated Halloween special. Um... Now, unfortunately, there was limited information I could find on this movie, and one of which was a movie poster, which is why we have the Haunted House thing for it. Um, so I do apologize for that. Um, another thing was, well, I could find the cast. Um, I couldn't find who did the voice of what character, so we are going to be skipping over um, cast for this video, and I do apologize for that as well. Um, but it's a fairly, good, it's a very good movie. I mean, it's very, very cute. It's Halloween, and the fact that it takes place on Halloween, and there is a witch in it and monsters, but it's very, very, very g-rated um and by g-rated i mean it's not super duper scary um I mean, even the monsters aren't really all that scary um and it's just this cute cute little movie it's not super long i think it's maybe an hour tops um but it's really really cute okay things i liked about this movie i did like the characters um the characters had very un usual names, um, but for the movie it worked, so it was like goodly, and friendly, and small, and tender, um, so really sweet, naval, and rotten and malicious for two of the other characters, um, so really like different names, and the character design in themselves was very abstract, very different, very abstract, but it was still very, very cute, and the characters were very likable, um, very, very um, one, dimension, de one dimension animation, but it worked in the sense of what they were trying to accomplish. Um, there wasn't a lot of depth to the characters, like um, physical depth to the characters, um, and they were mostly one color, um, and each character had its own individual color. But that being said, again, it was still good. The characters were still very relatable, very, very, it was a very cute movie. I, I, again, it's one I watch every year for Halloween. Um, the storyline was very good as well. It was very Halloween-ish with, you know, the kids going out trick-or-treating and the adults having a Halloween party and, you know, and the witch who kind of, Um, stirs up some trouble, um, you know, without meaning to. I mean, this was all really harmless fun on the part of the witch and the three kids. They just wanted to have some Halloween fun. Uh, it just, it goes a little awry. Um, but in the end, of course, everything turns out perfect. Um, I'm not going to tell you how it ends because that would be giving away the ending of the movie and spoiling it, but... It does end up like any other movie that Halloween movie that is made for children and for families. It's very G-rated, 
very much ends up with a very nice happy ending. Um, and that's all I'm going to say on the ending. But it's very good. It's, again, it's it's different. The animation's a little different. Um, I don't know if that has to come from it being from the 70s or because it's from the 70s and from Canada or what. Um, but the animation is a little different. Um, I've never seen animation like this before um, or since. But I liked it. I liked it for this movie. It was very good for this movie. Um... And again, the plot line was very good. I loved the plot line. Uh, I loved how they did the um, the monsters. I love the design for the witch. Um, she's not the design is not. It's like your traditional Halloween witch, but it's not like your traditional Halloween witch. It's um, kind of a blend of the two, which is very good. I love I loved how they did. It. Um, sometimes you get a little tired of seeing your traditional Halloween witch with the black robes and the pointed hat and everything. So this one was a little different, and I liked I liked that design. For, for the witch. I thought it was very good.
Okay, um, please leave your comments and questions in the comment section. I do love to read those. Also, feel free to follow me on Tumblr, Wattpad, and Instagram. I do have my name for those first sites right there on the screen, as well as the pictures I use for the icons. Um, please note that all pictures seen within this video do belong to their respected artists. I own absolutely nothing, and the links for any sites mentioned in this video will be in the description section. Okay, YouTube subscribers. Any of my videos that cannot be found on YouTube are on my Facebook page. Facebook friends. Basically the same thing. Any of my videos that cannot be found on Facebook are on my YouTube channel. And for any of those who are interested, you can feel free to check out my Facebook group, Fanfic Corner.